pyramids of the past and the present. Today we'll be taking a look at the top 15 tallest existing pyramids on the planet Earth. Number 15. The Walter Pyramid One of the world's largest pyramids is also one of the newest. The home of Long Beach State basketball and volleyball for over 20 years, the Walter Pyramid has become a nationally recognized icon for the university and the city of Long Beach. The structure's distinctive cobalt blue exterior has permanently altered the city's skyline. It's 18 stories tall and can be seen from miles in all directions. Nearly 200,000 visitors pass through the Walter Pyramid's entrances annually. Designed by Long Beach architect Don Gibbs and built by the Nielsen Construction Company of San Diego, the Walter Pyramid cost approximately $22 million to build. It measures 345 feet on each side of its perfectly square base. Its floor space accommodates nine volleyball courts, or three full basketball courts, and four additional half-basketball courts on the activity level. Its most unique feature is its cantilevered seating system mounted on movable platforms. When use of the floor level is required for physical education classes, each 81-ton seating platform can be raised hydraulically to expose over 39,000 square feet of benchwood flooring. The Walter Pyramid is believed to be the largest space frame structure in North America. The building's infrastructure utilizes 18,000 steel tubes and connection modules, joined by more than 160,000 three-quarter inch bolts. If the tubes were laid end to end, they would form a pipe span of 26 miles. Number 14, Djoser Pyramid. An architect named Imhotep designed the pyramid more than 4,600 years ago to house the coffin of Pharaoh Djoser. He decided for the first time to build up. He devised a new structure made of six layers of stone that got smaller as they ascended. The final product was meant to be a stairway to heaven. The pyramid was built for the Egyptian pharaoh Djoser, who ruled for 19 years during ancient Egypt's third dynasty. Before him, pharaohs were buried in tombs made of rectangular mud brick slabs, but Djoser got something grander. Over the centuries, its condition deteriorated due to the effects of time, neglect, fierce winds, and serious damage sustained in the 1992 earthquake. The restoration took 14 years and almost $7 million to complete. The Djoser Pyramid was built about 4,600 years ago between 2667 and 2648 BC and is the oldest large-scale stone monument still standing. It's situated in the Sequoia Necropolis, which is the largest pyramid-related funerary complex in the world. About 11.6 million cubic feet of stone and clay were used. Before this, buildings were made from wood, mud brick, and reeds. Number 13. Pyramid of Mygum Historical records show that the pyramid was built for Pharaoh Hunai, who was the last ruler of the Third Dynasty. Construction wasn't completed during Hunai's reign, but it was completed during the reign of Pharaoh Seneferu. Originally, the pyramid was meant to be built following the typical stone pyramid design, which had been invented by the architect known as Imhotep. However, the architect responsible for designing the pyramid decided to make a number of design changes. He also made these changes after construction of the pyramid was already underway. The pyramid was never finished, and ultimately theorized to have collapsed partially as the outer walls of the structure were built on sand foundations, not ideal for creating a stable and very heavy monument. While the pyramid was being converted from a step pyramid into a true pyramid, the weight of the added outer casing was pressing down so hard that the entire structure collapsed. However, recent archaeological research has found no trace of tool that would have been left behind by the workers had they actually witnessed the pyramid's collapse. If this pyramid collapsed, it must have been at a much later date than was assumed. It's also very likely that this monument, like so many others, fell victim to local peasants quarrying for stone. Number 12. The Pyramid of King Menkaure The Pyramid of King Menkaure is the third largest of the major pyramids of Giza, rising to 213 feet above the ground at its point. Menkaure's pyramid chambers are more complex than the others at Giza, and include a chamber carved with decorative panels and other chambers with six large niches. The burial chamber is lined with massive granite blocks. The stunning dyad of the king with his primary queen, Kamar Nibati II, now in the Museum of Fine Arts, Boston, as well as a number of triads showing the king being embraced by various deities, were discovered in the Valley Temple and were originally set up surrounding the open court. This temple was still an active place of cult late in the Old Kingdom. It was almost entirely rebuilt at the end of the Sixth Dynasty after it was heavily damaged by a flood. His black stone sarcophagus, also carved with niched panels, was discovered inside but was lost at sea as it was being transported to England. Number 11. The Pyramid of the Sun 
The Pyramid of the Sun was built in 100 CE and is one of the largest structures of its type in the Western Hemisphere. The pyramid rises 216 feet above ground level, and it measures approximately 720 by 760 feet at its base. It was constructed mainly using Tezontal, a red coarse volcanic rock native to the area. During hastily organized restoration work in 1905 through 1910, the architect Leopoldo Batras arbitrarily added a fifth terrace, and many of the original facing stones were removed. Debate continues over the actual purpose of the pyramid itself. In the early 1970s, exploration below the pyramid revealed a system of caves and tunnel chambers, and other tunnels were later found throughout the city. Further discoveries were made in the ensuing decades. In 2011, archaeologists working under the pyramid's center reported finding a cache containing shards of clay pots, pieces of obsidian, animal bones, three greenstone human figurines, and a greenstone mask. In addition, walls of what appeared to be three earlier buildings were uncovered. In 2013, workers had discovered a covered pit beneath the platform that forms the pyramid's summit. Within the pit were two pillars and what was described as a figure of the god Hue Hue Tehatl, a deity found in the pantheons of several Mesoamerican civilizations. Number 10. The Great Pyramid of Cholula The Great Pyramid of Cholula, known to natives as Tlachihua Tepetl, stands 55 meters or 180 feet above the surrounding plain and in its final form, it measured 400 by 400 meters, or 1300 by 1300 feet. Its base is four times larger than that of Giza, the Egyptian Great Pyramid, and it's almost twice the volume. This actually makes it the world's largest monument ever built. The temple was built to honor Quetzalcoatl, the feathered serpent and Aztec god of wind and learning, creator of all mankind. After they dedicated such a huge monument to the god, they built a holy city around it. The pyramid was built with adobe, a brick-like building material made out of baked mud. Adobe is among the earliest building materials used across the world. They are especially sturdy in Mexico's dry climate. At this particular site, adobe bricks were made by mixing mud with materials such as straw or sand and smoothed out to allow decorations and paintings. Adobe can become mushy and falter in rainy climates, but in dry, hot climates they can last for thousands of years, as was the case here. Number 9. La Danta. La Danta stands a staggering 236 feet tall and has a total volume of nearly 99 million cubic feet, making it one of the world's largest pyramids, as well as one of the world's most enormous ancient structures. It's been calculated that 15 million man days of labor were needed to construct the gigantic building, a staircase that leads up the temple's eastern face rewarding those who climb it with views of the sea of trees that stretches as far as the eyes can see. From the air, it looks like some sort of strange, lonely volcano randomly plopped within the vegetation, but the structure is actually one of the world's largest pyramids, part of the lost city of the Maya. El Mirador, the lost city, thrived from the 6th through the 3rd centuries BC. In the following centuries, construction within the city slowed and its population began to dwindle. It was finally abandoned in the waning days of the 9th century. In the years since its people left, the jungle swallowed the city's main stone structures. The site lay dormant for hundreds of years until archaeologists began excavating it in the mid-19th century. Thousands of structures fill the pre-Hispanic city, but perhaps none are as impressive as the La Danta Temple. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Memphis Pyramid It has been called the Tomb of Doom and is rumored to have been cursed by the removal of a crystal skull. It's also a Bass Pro Shop and is located in Memphis, Tennessee. The Great American Pyramid was conceived originally by Mark C. Hartz, a Memphis artist in the 1950s, but it took until September 15, 1989 to see ground break on the project. The building was opened on November 9, 1991. On the pyramid's opening night, the arena floor flooded because of inadequate drainage pumps forcing stagehands to sandbag the entire perimeter to preserve the electrical that runs under the stage. In 2001, the city of Memphis looked to lure either the Grizzlies or the Charlotte Hornets to town. While the pyramid was functional and profitable, it would have required retrofitting in order to be a viable long-term venue for an NBA franchise. A retrofit would have also required taking the arena offline for a year. As a result, a $250 million FedEx Forum was built as a condition of the Grizzlies' move from Vancouver and opened in 2004. The city of Memphis did spend $7 million on renovations such as improved dressing rooms and new television camera platforms for the Grizzlies' three-year stay in the arena. While hosting the Grizzlies, the arena lost $200,000 in 2002.
Number seven, the Red Pyramid. After the Great Pyramid of Khufu at Giza, the Red Pyramid at Dashur has the largest base of any pyramid in Egypt, only slightly smaller than Khufu's pyramid, each side measuring 722 feet. However, with its sides sloping at 43 degrees, it's substantially shorter at 343 feet. It's the fourth highest pyramid ever built in Egypt, with almost 160 layers of stone. Significantly, the Red Pyramid was the first successful, true, cased pyramid built in Egypt, ushering in the era of the Giza-style pyramids. The pyramid gets its common name from the reddish limestone used to build most of its core, but it also sometimes referred to as the Shining or Northern Pyramid. Learning from prior mistakes, several layers of fine white limestone were used to lay the pyramid's foundation, thus eliminating structural problems of earlier pyramids. Number 6. Luxor Pyramid the Luxor debuted on the Vegas Strip in October 1993, after only 18 months of construction. At 30 stories, the Luxor Pyramid is three quarters the size of the Great Pyramid at Giza, its inspiration. The pyramid's light beam is the strongest beam of light in the world, visible to even pilots flying hours away in Southern California. Inside, its interiors are lined with murals and statues depicting Egyptian iconography, mirroring the strongly themed exterior. The resort is also home to the only full-scale reproduction of King Tut's tomb outside of Egypt. Luxor's sky beam is the solid cord of ivory light that courses every night from the tip of the resort's pyramid toward the dark heavens above. With a light so powerful that it's visible to air travelers in Los Angeles, the single beam is created by 39 individual xenon lights with 7,000 watt bulbs. The lights are located in a room 50 feet or 15 meters below the tip of the pyramid and when on, bring the temperature of the room upwards of 300 degrees Fahrenheit. The light and the heat attracts moths to the top of the pyramid, which in turn attract bats and birds and other predatory animals. This unintended consequence means that staying at the Luxor ensures that you're also supporting the local circle of life. Number 5. Pyramid of Khafre The Pyramid of Khafre is the last Egyptian pyramid with some of its limestone covering intact. The forams that created the limestone used in pyramids lived millions of years ago, when an ancient ocean covered what is now the Sahara Desert. As the ocean dried up, layers of limestone sat near the surface of the desert. Ancient Egyptians used these former seabeds as quarries. The mortuary temple of Khafre at the foot of his pyramid and the valley temple at the end of the causeway are larger than any of those of older pyramids, and also among the best preserved of the Old Kingdom. Another development in the reign of Khafre is the complexity of their layout with the elements constituting his mortuary temple becoming the new standard that his later Old Kingdom counterparts would follow. A unique feature of Khafre's complex is the inclusion of a colossal statue besides his valley temple, the Great Sphinx. Number 4. The Great Pyramid of Giza Until the Eiffel Tower was completed in Paris, France in 1889, the Great Pyramid was the tallest structure made by human hands in the world record at hell for over 3,000 years, and one unlikely to be broken. The pyramid rises to a height of 479 feet, with a base of 230 meters, and comprises of over 2 million blocks of stone. Once the interior was completed, the whole of the pyramid was covered in white limestone, which would have shown brilliantly and been visible from every direction for miles around the site. As impressive as the Great Pyramid is today, one must recognize that it is a monument in ruin as the limestone long ago fell away and was utilized as building material for the city of Cairo, just as the nearby city of ancient Memphis was. The workers who accomplished this were skilled and unskilled laborers hired by the state for the project. These workers either volunteered their efforts to pay off a debt, for community service, or were compensated for their time. Although slavery was an institution practiced in ancient Egypt, no slaves, Hebrews, or otherwise were used in creating the monument. Number 3. The Transamerica Pyramid Constructed in 1972, the Transamerica building was originally met by public outcry and residents claiming that San Francisco was no place for an obelisk-shaped skyscraper. Its unique shape was actually built for environmental practicality in order to let natural light and airflow reach the already crowded streets of San Francisco. The top of the Transamerica Pyramid is covered with aluminum panels. During the Christmas holiday season on Independence Day and during the anniversary of 9-11, a bright twinkling beacon called the Crown Jewel is lit at the top of the pyramid. It was the tallest building in San Francisco from 1972 until 2018 and is still the 41st tallest building in the United States. The building has 48 floors of office space, 3,700 windows, 
which pivot 360 degrees to clean from the inside, and the tips of the wings of the building are actually the tops of the elevator shafts at both ends of the tower. Pretty cool engineering for a building that's almost 40 years old. Number 2. The Shard The Shard is a 95-story skyscraper in Southwark, London. Standing 1,016 feet high, the Shard is the tallest building in the United Kingdom, the fourth tallest building in Europe, and the 105th tallest building in the world. It's also the second tallest freestanding structure in the United Kingdom, after the concrete tower at the Emily Moore transmitting station. Renzo Piano, the project's architect, designed the Shard as a spire-like sculpture emerging from the River Thames. He was inspired by the railway lines next to the site, the London spires depicted by the 18th century Venetian painter Canaletto, and the masts of sailing ships. An impressive 95% of the construction materials are recycled. The total floor space is 1.2 million square feet. There are 44 elevators, including double-decker lifts. They travel at speeds of up to 6 meters a second, and there are 306 flights of stairs. The length of the wiring in the building, 200 miles, would stretch from London to Paris on a one-way ticket. Its 11,000 glass panels have a total area of 602,000 square feet, which equals eight soccer fields end-to-end. -end. Number 1. Ryugyong Hotel At 1,080 feet, North Korea's Ryugyong Hotel in Pyongyang is the tallest unoccupied building in the world, according to Guinness World Records. The 105-story Hotel of Doom, which is also North Korea's tallest building, has never hosted a single guest, but remains a subject of international fascination. Each of the building's three sections, which join together at the top, are 328 feet long. At the very top of the building, an eight-story cone-shaped section was supposed to feature revolving restaurants. It's estimated that completion of the project will cost about $2 billion. North Korea's gross domestic product is around $40 billion according to the CIA's World Factbook. That makes the cost of finishing the building around 5% of the country's entire GDP. The building itself doesn't have electricity and there's no expected completion date, but there have been new signs of construction progress. Watch our binge-watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.